Now I gotta ride or die What's going on YouTube, just take here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be customising and reviewing the brand new Coquette D10 which was released with a summertime DLC. It is going to cost you $1.5 million which I don't think is too bad for the type of car that this is. This actually looks really cool. It's, uh, yeah, I think this is fair enough to be honest. I think $1.5 is a pretty decent price for what it is. But we're going to get into LS Customs, we're going to customise it, hopefully we get some decent customisation and hopefully it's going to be fast. So you go my dudes, as you pull into LS Customs, you'll see the Inventario Coquette D10 is in the sports category, which I was quite surprised about because this looks like a supercar. And apparently it is based on the uh, Corvette C8. Not overly familiar with that car, but that's what I'm getting from the internet. But looking at this, it looks awesome. Like I said, it kind of looks like a supercar. So without any further ado, let's crack on and let's get 100% body armor as always then we're gonna go to the brakes and get the race brakes we're gonna go to the bumper front bumper so we get a nice amount of options for the front bumper whether it's going to change anything <laughs> is another matter uh, so we do get splitters obviously then canards then another splitter so it's not actually changing the overall look of the bumper it's just adding parts to the bumper um which oh my days that looks insane that full splitter kit looks absolutely mental don't know how i feel about that does make it look really aggressive though. Ooh, should we go for it? Should we just do it? Let's just do it. Let's do it with a full splitter kit. What the fuck not? It looks really, really aggressive. And uh, it looks aggressive anyway, just like that. But with that, it looks extra, extra mean. Uh, rear bumper, we're going to go with the rate. Ooh, so we've got race diffusers. So they're just diffusers, tuning diffusers, and then the diffusers with the canards. I'm not a fan of canards. I think they look really weird and out of place. So I won't be getting any of those. And I don't think I'll be getting a diffuser at the back either. So with that being said, I'm going to stay stock for the rear bumper. Then we're going to go to the engine. We're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade, the exhaust. We've got the sports. So this is actually changing the bumper as well. Okay, so we've got a bumper option which isn't really a bumper option because it's just adding a diffuser. And then we've got an exhaust <laughs> category, which isn't just changing the exhaust, but it's changing the rear bumper also. Weird and confusing. Rockstar Logic, again, man, what the hell? Why don't they just give us an actual bumper category like they usually do? Why have they got to integrate the rear bumper with the, with the exhaust? It's really odd. I don't understand what they, why they do things like this. And again, then it's the same exhaust but with a different bumper it's fucking crazy then anyway we've got the racing diffuser then the same bit in carbon the performance one actually looks quite cool i like the look of that then it in carbon as well and back to stock so the front of it was all carbon yeah the front of it was mainly carbon so i think i'm going to go with the carbon performance diffuser next option we've got is the grill so we've got the carbon housing oh yeah baby it's got to be the carbon housing it's going to match up with the uh, the splitters or the split with the front and the new rear bumper at the back um, slash exhaust. <laughs> um, yeah, I like that one. The one with the with the the carbon with the primary panel in it. That looks cool. So we're going to go with that bad boy. Then we've got lights. We're going to go headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. Then they've got liveries. Loads of options for liveries. I'm not going to call out what each of them are called, but I will just quickly slip through them and let you know whether I like any of them or not. Um, but I'm not a massive fan of liveries. Is OGs of the channel would know. Um, yeah, so they just, especially cut on cars like this, they just ruin cars like this. The the double racing stripes weren't too bad, but again, I, I think it looks better without them, so I'm going to stay none for the livery option. So then we're going to go to the respray, we're going to go Prime Color, we are going to get a metallic on this bitch. I think like an ultra blue would look pretty cool on this. So there we go, ultra blue. And I weren't wrong, man, that looks awesome. It looks really cool. Actually complements the black as well really nicely. So ultra blue, primary, metallic. And then for the secondary, we also go metallic. We're in black at the moment. What does that change? Weirdly enough, it just changes the stuff on the rims. I can't see it changing anything other than the wheels. What's all that about, man? That is weird. I don't understand why they do things like that. But because I'm going to be changing the wheels anyway, and I'm not 100% sure whether this secondary colour actually changes anything, but it might do. It might be changing something that I haven't noticed. I am just going to get it in the same colour as the primary. So next we get an option for trim colour. This is obviously the dashboard and usually the seats, which it is. 
Um, I think I'm going to go white. There we go. We've got frost white, which is kind of like a gray color, but to match it all up together, ice white is the one to go for. And it makes the seats look pretty cool too, because they're not completely white. And I think a white dash, does it change? Yeah, it also changes the steering wheel as well. So yeah, ice white for the interior for me. And from the outside, the interior now looks popping. It looks awesome. Uh, roof, we've got the, oh, we can make it in convertible. Very nice. And then the secondary, okay, so that's obviously a secondary, where the other secondary color would come in. And we've got a carbon roof as well. I kind of like it uh, removed. It looks kind of cool. But then I kind of want to go carbon as well. But because this is different, the removed roof, we don't have it with many cars in the game. So I'm going to go removed roof. And then we get an option for roof scoop. So I've just removed the roof and we get a roof scoop option. But it's not even really on the roof. It's just behind. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's cool, man. It's all good. Uh, we've got the carbon uh, dual vents, which is the same as the primary, secondary, then the carbon version of that, and the tuner, and then the secondary, and then the carbon version of that as well. Um, what does they look like from the front? The, the tuner vent actually looks quite cool from the front, uh, but the dual vents look a little bit more subtle, so I think I'm going to go with those. I'm just going to get the dual vents, though. Side skirts is the next option. We only get three additionals for this. Um, but I think that's all we're going to need. Nothing else is really changing. They're all pretty much the same. But they are primary, secondary, carbon. Because uh, we've got a bit of carbon on the side as it is, I think just the uh, the winged skirt is, is good enough. Then we get a spoiler option. Loads of options for the spoiler. The little spoiler at the moment actually is quite subtle. And I think it works really well. Whether that's going to be removed, we're now about to find out. It we can have it carbon. But then when we do move on to other wings, it does remove that. I thought maybe this little stock wing would actually stay there and you know all the other wings would be piled on top of it like they do with some cars. But no, they do remove it. Props to Rockstar for that. It actually um, makes it a lot nicer. I think this car would actually look really cool without a spoiler. But whether we can remove one altogether, I don't think we can. But that performance wing, man, that looks awesome. That does look quite cool. Uh, competition wing, and then the same in the carbon. But I think... You know the stock wing actually looks the best out of all of them to be honest it's nice and subtle um you know all these other ones look look a little bit out of place especially the street wing that doesn't really go with the type of car that this is in my opinion uh, same with these ones that one looked quite cool the performance wing but then i think it's a little bit too high and it sits back really far it'd look a little bit nicer if it was a, a little bit more forward on the car um yeah, so uh, with that all being said, I think stock wing is probably the best looking one. So I'm just, just going to stay stock for that, for the spoiler. Sunstrip. So all these new cars that I've customized, they've all had sunstrips, which is quite cool. I do like a sunstrip. But if we can't get a, you know just a plain black sunstrip, I'm not really interested. I suppose you could do if you had the secondary color as black. It would kind of work, but... Um, I haven't, I'm not, can't be bothered to go back and change it, so I'm just going to stay none for the Sunstrip. Suspension, uh, what's competition suspension do to this car? Whoa, that makes that super low. Because it rides really low with stock suspension. So, I think I'm just going to go with, um, I think street suspension looks cool. Let's go with that. Transmission, we're going to get a race transmission and the turbo tuning. Now for the wheels, we're going to go wheel typing into street, obviously, because we're not going to keep these stock wheels, even though they are quite cool. But we've got this new category of wheels, man. Got to use them. So there's loads of wheels in here, and loads of them are actually going to look really nice on this car. The concave racer look awesome. So looking for all these wheels, I do like the deep flake reverse. They look really nice, and they're going to look even better once they're in black. I love how they're concaved like that. They look awesome. They look thick as fuck. <laughs> they're just going to look awesome, man. Let's get them carbon black. And look at that, so good. Whilst we're here guys, you might as well go into the tyres and purchase the bulletproof tyres. Tyre smoke's a waste of time, and to finish off the build, we usually go with the windows, which we are, light smoke, there we go. For a moment, I didn't think the uh, window tint was there, but it was just me not looking properly. But there we go, light smoke to finish the build off, let's get it out on the street, and hallelujah, it is daytime, because I am on the PS4, and uh, look, if you see my other videos, you'll know that I'm not on the PC at the moment because the script hook 5 isn't been updated and I can't get these cars on my PC at the moment. Look, you know, it's in the sports category. It looks like a supercar, but it's a sports car. So I'm not holding out any um, high hopes for the speed on this. Um, even though it does feel quite nippy, 
you know, you're holding it down, it's picking up speed quite nicely. I don't think it's going to be one of the fastest in the sports category by far because this sports category is huge and there's so many good cars in it. And uh, yeah, I don't think this is going to be one of the top cars in the category, unfortunately, even though it looks, it looks fast as fuck. But it's not, really. Um, 1.5 million, it's not a bad price for it uh, because it does look mean. The modifications or the customization actually looks quite good. There's some nice customization options for it. Um, for a sports car, it's very capable. And like I said, it's not going to be one of the fastest in the category, but it's, um, it's definitely good enough. And it feels quite loose. You know, I'm going side to side, it feels like it, what, it could spin out at any moment. But it looks alone. It looks awesome. It's a very, very nice looking car. It's probably one of the best looking sports cars in the game, without a doubt. Um, but in regards to its performance, like the the speed and the handling, it's not great, and it's definitely not going to be the best in the in the category, unfortunately. But for 1.5 mil, if you've got it laying around and you fancy a go with this car, I'd um, I'd suggest it. You know, just for looks alone, it looks awesome. But if you want it for racing. Uh, I don't think it's going to be one for you. But with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please smash that like button. If you haven't already, want to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.